All right, guys, today in front of me from Barrelcraft Spirits, we have the Barrel Bourbon Batch number 34. So uh, this is made up of a blend of bourbon whiskeys aged 6, 8, 10, and 15 years. Uh, comes in at 114.62 proof and distilled in Kentucky, Tennessee, and Indiana. Uh, coming off a strong barrel batch number 33, uh, I'm excited to see how this one, you know, fares against that one. I was a big fan of uh, the the Batch 33. It landed in my top 10 whiskeys of the year last year. Want to see how this one does, guys. So let's get into it. Without further ado, let's go. All right, guys, so as I stated, this one comes in at 114.62 proof. Uh, age statements on these are 6, 8, 10, and 15-year uh, bourbon whiskeys. And uh, again, distilled in Tennessee, Kentucky, and Indiana. Let's go ahead and get in the nose. So on the nose for me on this one, I get a, uh, a mixture of like a cherry vanilla, um, like uh, almost like a peanut type fudge, like a peanut butter type fudge on this one. Um, I don't typically get a lot of nuttiness on on uh, barrel products uh, i have on a few but not necessarily so much on the nose like uh like i'm getting on this one yeah there's a there's a really nice layer of like caramel and kind of toffee that sits there um a little further away from the glass but then further into the glass it's like um it's really kind of like vanilla cherry some some nuttiness that that's in there like a maybe like a pecan or like a walnut this one definitely smells like it's going to be uh, it's going to be creamy. This is actually my first pour of this one. It smells really good, guys. Let's get in the palate. Cheers. So this one it 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 has that that creamy viscosity to it. But I pick up an interesting note on this one on the front of the palate that I don't ever get with with barrel. There's a really nice, strong um, kind of vanilla fudge note on the front of the palate, but then there's also almost like a, um, it's a little bit of grape that appeared there on the, on the front of the palate. Rye spices start to develop there on the middle of the palate, but that, that's where it kind of transforms into this like vanilla kind of nutty fudge. Then into the back of the palate, slight hint of black pepper, but then I'm also starting to pick up like, like a, a cherry right now. It's it's almost uh, along the lines of like a, a, a black cherry that kind of starts to develop there um, into the finish. It actually has a, me a medium to long finish on this one. Kind of slowly, again, this is one of the ones that kind of slowly kind of pulls those flavors down along with it into the finish. Let's get in the second sip. This may be one of the most savory, flavorful barrel batches of bourbon that I've that I've had it is it's very savory very rich the 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 notes on this are very defined on, on this one you know sometimes you know and, and some of the other bur uh, bourbon batches you you kind of are trying to track down some flavors that you felt like you got before but these flavors are very defined on this one and I think the viscosity has a lot to do with that where it's just kind of like like letting those flavors kind of stick to that to that portion of the palate. But again, on the front, it's like this slight hint of like grape. And then there's like like a, a nice kind of rich vanilla fudge. And then into the middle of the palate, that vanilla kind of flows through. And then there's like a um like a walnut or like a pecan like I was getting on the nose. And then that's where like those rye spices started to kind of die down a little bit, brought like forth a little bit of brown sugar. So it's like one of those like brown sugared like walnuts or pecans with like some vanilla fudge. And then into the back of the palate, it's it again, there's like a little bit of some black pepper there. But then there's also a a pretty well defined like a black cherry um, that, that has a, a little bit of like some oakiness to it as well. Like it's a little tannic. And then again, that that kind of slowly pulls down some of those flavors. It's a medium to long finish. It's actually like, like it has a slightly long finish to it. And I I really like that. It's one of the things I really kind of craved from Barrel was something that had a really long finish, kind of sit and enjoy. But this again is a very um, rich and savory um, uh, batch number thirty four. I mean, I I really like that. The flavors are very well defined on this one. See you in the last sip, guys. Yeah, again, so this one, again, it showed that it was a little bit, 
Uh, you know, the, the blend on this one was a little bit older, had that 6, 8, 10, and 15 year. I think that 15 year in there um, is bringing some of that, that oak, some of those tannins there in the back of the palate. I think it's actually like bringing forth some of that, um, that, that peanut uh, vibe there as well. Again, so front of the palate, it is, it's the same. It stayed consistent. The flavors are very well defined, kind of saturates the palate. It's very rich and savory, viscous. So, so front of the palate, again, it's, it, it, there's a, a slight hint of like a grape, like a grape soda. And then it goes into like a vanilla fudge, like kind of like together. Then that, that vanilla kind of flows into the middle of the palate. A little bit of rye spice there, still available. Um, and then there's like that brown sugared kind of like a pecan or walnut. Can't really identify like which right now, but there's definitely some peanut influence in there. Again, I think that's, that's uh, an influence from those higher aged barrels that are in there. Maybe that eight, that 15. And then back of the palate, there's that hit of black pepper every single sip. Um, again, very rich and savory, but then again, some of that vanilla slowly still making its way to the back of the palate, but then that's where that that black cherry starts to just um, starts to, de to develop there. A little hint of like some cinnamon as well. And then that black pepper into the finish. And again, it's it is a it's a pretty it's a pretty long finish. It's definitely more than than a medium finish on this one. I mean, I can still feel it going down. I'm still getting some of those flavors that are that are slowly pulling down. This is uh, again, you know, to uh, I say it again. This is a very uh, very rich, very savory. And the, the flavors are very well defined on this barrel batch number 34. So I want to thank you guys for tuning into this episode of Dusty Dan's Whiskey Reviews. I want to send a big shout out to the team at Barrelcraft Spirits for supplying with this sample here to review on the channel. Um, guys, again, this is a hitter of a bottle. Um, I would really have to put this in number 33 head to head, but I can tell you, I can tell you that this one for me, it wins on the finish. It it has more well defined flavors than the than the 33 did um i think the 33 might win on the nose over top of this one but i think the palette wins out over the 33 in this one i'm gonna have to do a head-to-head -head, maybe a head-to-head -head video on that but i think i think this one wins um as far as mouthfeel again well-defined flavors um very unique flavors on this one um but again Job well done here by Barrelcraft Spirits, guys. So if you're looking for more reviews like this, hit that subscribe button, bell notification to be alerted of any upcoming reviews or live streams. You also find me on Instagram at Dusty Dan's Whiskey Reviews. Until next time, guys, say Dusty.